Rika Misha and today we are making something uh, special. I am making mini cheesecake tarts. Child made that name up. Mini cheesecakes. Anyway, so I don't know if y'all remember when I cooked the cheesecake uh, in the other video and I had the strawberry and the um, graham cracker crust. I had that left over from this package. I've got two of each actually. I've got two more over here from the two boxes. So, y'all know I'm not gonna throw my stuff away. Oh, I figured out something to do, you know? And we got little mama over here, my daughter over here, little mama. She over here looking, watching, waiting, ready to eat. All right, so anyway, so let me get to, and let me show y'all my little, my little mini little cups. They so cute, they're like little cupcake cups. I can do it with the aluminum, you know, without the, um, cups but I'm gonna do it with the cups so I've got that already got that already I got an extra cup in here let me get that out okay so I'm gonna show y'all how we're gonna do this quick and easy all right so I'm adding my crust mix two tablespoons of sugar and um Four tablespoons of melted butter. So I've already got my melted butter right here. And I got my um, crust mix. So let's get that mixed in. Nice crust mix here. This is just a quick and easy way to make cheesecakes. Just a quick, easy way to make little mini cheesecakes, you know? Y'all know I like to make it quick and easy and simple. Cause I don't have all day to be in the kitchen. And let's put out two tablespoons of sugar. That's our two tablespoons of le sugar. And I like that I have a, a whole nother pack over there I could use for something else. Probably cheesecakes. But yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and get this mixed up. Got our butter in here. Our sugar. And this is our crust. Just gonna get this mixed up and like I'm telling you this is a quick easy way to make little mini cheesecake you know we're cutting corners so I'm gonna get this mixed up and that's my oven going off let me see because y'all know I got something cooking in there I ain't telling y'all what it is I got something special cooking in the oven y'all just gonna have to wait for the video y'all just gonna have to wait Okay, all right, let me put that over here so y'all can't see it, so y'all can't be in the business. All right, so let's finish getting the crust mixed up. Two tablespoons of melted butter and two tablespoons of sugar. And like I said, this is just the crust, you know, our little um, cheesecake crust. I'm going to get this all mixed up, and then I'm going to go ahead and sit it in the bottom of our cup. Wait till y'all see how I'm fixing these mini cheesecakes. How quick and easy the idea that I came up with to make little quick um, cheesecake cups. Cheesecake tarts. Child, whatever. Little cheesecakes. Okay. All right, our crust is looking really good. Make sure we got it all nicely mixed. We do. We got it all mixed up. Let y'all get a good look at that. That's our crust. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and spoon um, the crust in here. I don't want to do too much. Let me see. I'm going to get a smaller spoon. Because that spoon's a little big. I can't really get down in my... Okay, so yeah, we're gonna, I'm smashing my crumbs down in here, getting them all smashed down in my little, my little cups, all nice and even and cute down there, okay, all right, I'm doing one full, one full spoon in each one. 
this um crust smells so good with that butter it smells so good i got two trays y'all two trays go ahead and get these smoothed up a quick and easy way of making little mini cheesecakes Some more over here. Make sure we get our our um crust down in here real good. Oh, you need a little bit more right there. It smells so good with this butter. Put a little bit more over here because we want a nice thick crust. Nice thick crust. Go ahead and get these down. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, we need a little bit more in here now. Y'all looking real, real po right now. Okay, let me put some more in here. I just want y'all to see how quick and easy I'm making these, you know? Just how easy it is to make them. Make sure we use all our stuff. Yeah, you need some right here. Okay. Almost finished. A little bit more. Let me see who needs some. Okay. It smells so good. All right. So we got that done. We got that done. And let me show y'all. Got my oven off. So, so y'all can see a close up look. I got my crust down in there. Now we're going to go ahead and put these side by side. And this is our strawberry, um, strawberry topping. Real strawberry topping, it says. Real strawberry topping. We're going to put that across the top. Now, let me show y'all what I did. I got a cheesecake from Publix. Regular cheesecake without the crust. Just, you know, straight up cheesecake. No crust. Just trying to show y'all a little, a little trick, you know. All right. And as you can see the cheesecake. It's just straight cheesecake. Let me get a knife. It's just straight cheesecake. No graham crust. None of that. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this in half. Cut it in half. Because I don't think I'm going to need this whole cheesecake. Let me see. Oh boy. Come on now. Get it together. Anywho. But yeah, I'm gonna take half of it and I'm dumping it in my bowl. Y'all will see why. Now let's move this cheesecake because I don't think I need all this cheesecake. Let me wash my hands real quick. Okay, let me all right, y'all. So, all right, so we got our cheesecake in here. Got our cheesecake. And I'm just taking my fork and I'm just smashing it. It's soft. You know, cheesecake is soft. I think I might need that other half. We'll see. Yeah, I'm going to need that other half. I'm definitely going to need that other half of cheesecake. So, um, um, let me just, let me just spoon it for now. Okay. All right. So, I my fork. Got my cheesecake all mixed up. And I'm going to spoon it. Spoon it down in here, just like that. I'm going to take my spoon and just smash it down in there. It's all, mm, this cheesecake tastes so good. It's, they say it's a New York style cheesecake. This cheesecake way from New York, y'all. Way from New York. I'm just trying to tell y'all what the package say. New York style. So. All right. Okay, so let's get this packed down in there. Let's get the cheesecake packed down in there now. Y'all see, I'm just pushing the cheesecake down in there. This cheesecake is really, really good. And I'm just taking my spoon and pushing the cheesecake down. I think I need a smaller spoon. Just 
gonna drop it like that. Mm. These look so good. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need the other half of that cheese cake. Because this half is just gonna be enough for this pan. So, I'm telling you, cheesecake is so good and rich. I love cheesecake. We love cheesecake. My girls love cheesecake. So. Just dropping the cheesecake down in here. That's all we doing. Let me make sure I got all my cheesecake now. Y'all seen how I did it? I'm going to go ahead and do this second pan. And then I'll be back to show y'all how we're going to um, top these off. Because you know what? I got some fresh strawberries in the refrigerator. I don't know if I want to do this strawberry uh, topping right here. I think I may want to do like the real fresh strawberries. Like be real bougie, y'all. Real bougie. So I'll be back. Y'all, let's see. All right, I decided to go with the fresh strawberries. I really didn't want to do the strawberry syrup, so I'm going to go with fresh strawberries because you know what? That will make the cheesecake taste so good. So I've got some fresh strawberries already clean. Don't play with me. I already clean my strawberries. You go ahead and get this greenery cut away from the top. And I think I just want to do, I don't know, I'm trying to figure out how I want to do my strawberry. I think I just want to sit it down on top like that. Like kind of squish it down in there like that. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> y'all, that's cute. Don't do that. Y'all know that's cute. That is really cute. Just kind of push it down in there a little bit. Oh, I am doing it. Huh. I am doing it. Push it down in there like that. Oh, my little cheesecake looking good, y'all. I want to get all the big strawberries. I don't want to get these little ones. Y'all look how pretty that is. Quick, easy cheesecake, y'all. Quick and easy. Ooh, I am really showing out today. Hmm, Chef Boy RD ain't got nothing on me. Bars. Bars. Oh, wait, let me turn this one around. It's a little crooked. Come on. It's a little crooked. Okay. Oh, y'all look how them look. Ooh, fancy. Ooh, y'all see them. Y'all see them. Take a minute for y'all to see. Real good. They so cute, y'all. Quick and easy, y'all. Quick and easy. Y'all see how I made these cheesecakes? Quick and easy. Make sure I get the nice, big, juicy strawberries. And I'm just pushing it down in there like that. Getting the big, juicy strawberries. This is going to be so good, y'all. So good. Make sure I ain't got no green on there. Ooh, wee. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all is not ready for my um cheesecakes. Y'all not ready for my cheesecake tarts. <laughs> I'm going to call these, whatever the thumbnail is, whatever the, the video say, y'all. Um, mini cheesecakes. Whatever. All right, let me see. We almost finished. I got one more to do. Let me see. Make sure you wash your strawberries. Ooh. Y'all ain't ready. I'm telling you, y'all ain't ready. I'm going to push my strawberries down a little bit more. So that cream cheese and crust can form. Ooh, y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready for my little mini little uh, cheesecake. And I made those so quick, y'all. So quick, quick and easy. And they looking all fancy. They looking all fancy. And you know what you can do too? Um, you can do like chocolate sprinkles. I've got rainbow sprinkles, but I don't want to do all that. You can do like chocolate sprinkles over it. Um, I just want to leave it just like this. Look at that, y'all. I want to leave it just like that. All right. 
And yeah, the um, pants came with tops. So look, that's perfect, y'all. Just fit right over the top like that. And I put them in the refrigerator. Of course, I'm going to put them in the refrigerator so everything, you know, can kind of melt together. So, all right, y'all. Y'all seen me do it. So you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, that knowledge is power. All right, guys. Bye.